What brings you here on Omanawi? We're looking for Karadeg, the Keeper of Promises. Did he come back to your village? He, he did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He thought that we should be fighting them, throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaius Rad. And I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something, and he wanted to hide. He must have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa Awalam Seg. What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the keepers of promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you're a kind of cleric. Hmm. Thank you, Karadek. Do you want to know anything else? We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaixe, isn't it? Oh, we should never have accepted to seal such a promise. I did not like them, but I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Bladnid was demanding it. And now that she is no longer with us, these Monasinaiga are chasing me. It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Donegad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. The Rinaixe only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. 
they threaten my life. And because of them, I am forced to hide here. In that case, maybe we should tell the priests about your hideout. How about that? Why would you do that? They would kill me! I cannot believe you would say that. This man's hatred of the settlers has made him blind. That he'd rather let his village fall into their hands than help us. He leaves me no choice. Here, take this damned bark and leave me alone. Leave! What do these glyphs say? That we will assist the priests in their war against the lions, and they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village, or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to Iseld. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? We went to Falristel to see the stone. Were you able to read it, Siora? No, because it was destroyed by someone. I am certain that the priests did it to protect their lies. You're probably right, but for as long as we cannot prove it... We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us and insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But... If you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the Light. By lying, you have insulted the memory of the Queen. The entire village will be happy to make you pay for your affront if they hear about it. You do well to leave before having to face their wrath. We are not here to shed blood. Very well, we're leaving. But we will not forget your role in this matter, Your Excellency. I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Anol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. Karantz, do you need something? How did you know that those missionaries were lying? After all, given the situation, your mother could have wanted to form an alliance. I knew my mother well. We were close. She would never have renounced her beliefs to forge an alliance. I think I understand. Your island, your culture, and your faith are so closely tied that you cannot renounce one without renouncing the others. Exactly. The Earth talks to us because we believe in it in its spirits. Without these beliefs, we would be but empty shells. 
Our mother would never have wanted that for us. I am happy to see that you understand us so well. Anything else? Why are you and your sister so different? If you're talking about physical differences, they're linked to the fact that Iseld is not on all Manawi. When we were little, we were perfectly identical. But our tempers were always different. I have no trouble believing it. And I'm glad that out of the two sisters, it's the gentler one who is by my side now. Gentler? Really? The lion soldier on the battlefield would not have agreed. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Place. My mother told me about this place. She said that the village was devoured by the houses of the Sands. How could that chief accept this? All that's left to do is to find Father Eustonius. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade, I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Eustinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them, and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village, with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. <sighs> they are so naive. Either way. I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I wonder how my people could accept the priests settling in their home like this. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. 
I talked to Father Eustinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on St. Matthias is conducted. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas. I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to. But I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. I imagine someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. The Mother Cardinal told me that this village had been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings. And then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of St. Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The Islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village, finally accepted our presence, things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. Thank you. I will let you work. Greetings, de Sade. I am handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. What can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then, the morning after, we saw they were gone. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure is it is not one of us. Well... Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. All that matters to us is their value as proof. Not the money we could make out of them. Do you think the culprit could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, we conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter, anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? Now we can prove Saint Matthias lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. 
I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. Father, I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Ha, huh. we saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of St. Matthias, and everything here fit the description of St. Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about St. Matthias. That helped to convince them. And how well have neighboring villages welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedluk, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. There are no Onol Manawi and no warriors here either. Did they all leave? Perfect harmony takes time, my child. I have no doubt that one day we will manage to convince your kind to convert. But in the meantime, we must settle for the miracle of great coexistence that this place already represents. Nobody thought we could live side by side with your people. And yet... I must leave you. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. Hello, brother. Oh, Desade, is that you? Do you need anything? Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the islanders. We must bring the light to this island. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about St. Matthias. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings 
the warriors and the marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. Hello. I am Ler, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello. De Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. I did not know that. What do you want from me? I've heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme, and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions, talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning, they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them, they were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. One of the theologians told me that you had helped them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them, they were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. One of the theologians told me that you had helped them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. 
But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called the soul Lassa, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace, and the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the worst didn't. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaigse to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men. Perhaps wiser than they are. I have to go. Like so many others. I knew that the story would be more complex than we'd been told. The priests separated this village into two parts. The exiles must be broken-hearted, having left their clan behind. On the other hand, had they followed their chief's example, this wouldn't have happened. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. There is only one entrance, and the door shows no evidence of a break-in. This priest, Virgil, said that the night was calm. So calm that he probably fell asleep. So, the thieves only had to take the key from him. It's very likely that that's what happened. But someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. You think that the one who told them is in this village? We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village, family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who is close to the exiles, and enough about the researchers to inform them. You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They must have taken the tablets with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. 
You do well to tell me what you know. Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have, how do you think they will interrogate you? I do not think they will hurt us. They want peace too, and violence would break it all. I understand why you are no longer the chief, if you do not even know what the inhabitants of your village are doing. <sighs> You're right. I was indeed a bad chief. I couldn't even convince those who left to stay. Since you do not want to talk, I will have to tell the Mother Cardinal to send the Ordo Luminous. The Inquisitors will make you confess the name of the person who helped the Exiles. You wouldn't do that. This Sol Lasser would burn the entire village. He's not really leaving me a choice. Right. Let's go back to San Mateus. Wait! I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindwal. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. If she's helping the priests, why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. He is filled with anger and fury. If you go talk to her, please do not hurt her. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. I have no intention of hurting her. But things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. I have to go. Like so many others. Greetings. Are you Vindwar? Bird tier to mud. Yes, that is me. What do you want? Listen, I know you helped the exiles to steal the tablets of Saint Mateus. No, this is not true. It wasn't me. There's no point in denying it. I know you did it for your son who had to leave the village. If you know that, then you know that I don't have the tablets. So what do you want from me? Tell me where the Exiles are. I must retrieve these tablets. You're asking me to betray my son. Promise me that you won't hurt him. I promise. But if he reacts violently, I'll have to defend myself. Then I hope he'll be reasonable. Bran and the others are hiding in the woods, beyond the Circle of Stone. Thank you, Vindwar. 